Hello everyone, how is it going? I hope all of you guys are having a nice and wonderful Monday. Today is May 3rd of 2021. And in this video, I am going to be showing y'all most of the, I mean, well not most, but all of my stuff that I got recently. And uh, most of y'all uh, don't know this, but I actually got a few Genesis games. And uh, got some, I got one Super Nintendo game. One Atari 2600 game, and the rest is other 2600 games. I mean, stuff. And uh, some of it's uh, very interesting. Well, all of it's very interesting. But I wanted to go ahead and show y'all what I got recently. So I'm going to go ahead and show all of you the games that I got recently. The first one I pull out is Sword of Vermilion on the Sega Genesis. It's in good shape, minus the sticker right there. It just, um, I got it, I tested it out, it works, so I'm happy about that. I don't care if the sticker's on it or not, I'm happy. Either way. And then next, we got Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. And, uh, got it for 10 bucks. I know some people's going to say, wow, that's overpriced, but for, because I love the Genesis, and plus I've been looking for this game for a while, I wasn't going to pass it up again. So I had to get this game. So I'm, And I beat the game. I'm very happy and proud of myself for beating this game. I got close to, uh, well, I got over 500,000 points in, uh, on my first try. So I did pretty good. Definitely recommend this fighting game. None of you will be disappointed. Next, we got a fun game on a Genesis. It's called Thunder Force 2. It's one of the most iconic games ever made on a Genesis, in my opinion. And somebody wrote it on it with the letter P. Now, I don't understand, Mr. P, why you had it right on this game. But either way, anyway, this is a good game, and I really recommend y'all playing this game. It's a fun shooter. Now this game I played a little bit of it and it was pretty hard. It's called Chalkin. And uh this game I never seen a person. And when I seen it, I wasn't gonna pass up on him on even though it has bad it's kinda in bad shape with the label off right here and off here. Uh with that I wasn't gonna pass up on it. So either way I'm very happy and thankful I got all of these games. And uh, that's all the Genesis games that I got recently. And uh, now I'm going to be showing y'all the one and only Super Nintendo game that I got recently. And that is F-Zero. And I uh, got this for a very good deal at the flea market. And um, let's see. I got this uh, at the flea market for a very good deal. If you look at the uh, shape it's in, it's in very good shape. It works fine. And it's in good shape. It's one of my favorite racing games on this Super Nintendo. No doubt about that. Definitely recommend y'all picking this game up. Now this is the re now this is rest of the video is going to be the Atari 2600 games. I mean one game and the rest is going to be a surprise. No, but I will be showing them in this video. Uh, this game requires the paddle controllers. And I just got that recently. Uh, the paddle controllers and uh, this game uh, is from 1978 and it is called Circus Atari now let me see if I can get this color uh, like bright colors off of my video but anyway this is a really fun game it's really addicting but it's not as addicting as that Kaboom game I got a few about a week I mean about two or three weeks ago a second in Charles <laughs> But uh, it's still a really good game. It's a fun game. It's in good shape. Had to pick it up. Wasn't going to pass on it. And I recommend this game to anybody that loves Atari like I do. Because Atari 2600 is actually one of my favorite consoles of all time. So, yes. Yeah, definitely in my top 5 or top 10 favorite video game systems of all time. So, I recommend it. And uh, I got two joystick controllers right here, and they're all tangled up. Let me see if I can. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to make that much noise. Got two Atari 2600 joysticks. And obviously, y'all could probably tell the difference when I show them right here. 
you can tell this has the logo on it. However, it don't have the logo on this one. So I don't know if this is still the official controller right here or not. But they're all in working shape. I tested them out there in working shape. Definitely recommend y'all picking it up if y'all have an Atari 2600 because y'all will need them for many games like Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Junior Pac-Man, Vanguard, and other great games. And the next one I got, I got the pedal controllers. And I've been uh, playing the crap out of them. Like right here, you got this, and then this one's upside down, but you, you can either play it with one player, two players, or anything. Now these games, uh, you will need them for uh, games like Kaboom, that Circus Atari game I've shown. And uh, then you also would need it for like other games, like uh, Night Driver and other games. Either way, the Atari 2600 pedal controllers right here. Definitely pick them up if y'all go to get those specific games. Let me put them over here. I was actually playing Kaboom last night. I wanted to share that with y'all. <laughs> I played exactly 125 rounds. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to say, man, you don't have a life. But I do have a life, but I'm also, video games is part of my life too. So anyway, I played Kaboom for like um, probably about four or five hours total off and on. And I uh, played 125 rounds total. And I'm proud of my high score, but... I think my highest score was like 565 points, while my lowest point, like my blah, 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 can't really talk today for some reason. It was 565 points was my highest score as of today. I mean yesterday. And, and my lowest score out of the 125 tries I did was 126 points. <laughs> so I did pitiful on that first try, but the, as I got better, like as I played more and more and more, I got a little better each time. So yeah, really recommend uh, Kaboom and the other games. And this, all of this stuff came from Showcase, except the Genesis and Super, well, some Genesis games came from Showcase. But um, the Super Nintendo games came from the flea market. And uh, the Atari 2600 game came from Showcase as well. And so did this bad boy right here. It is the Light 6 Switcher. I think it is the Light 6 Switcher. I know it's a 6 Switch, obviously, because you got uh, all of these right here. And plus your cartridge slot in the middle. Now, what you could do with this, you could power it on like this. Power it off. And then this one selects your TV type. Uh, color is on top. Black and white is at bottom like that but you can always uh, slide it up for most colored TVs then the left difficulty you got it either on A right here or B right here and then right here you also got your right difficulty for like another player or some if you want to uh, choose the easiest difficulty for them you will go to A sometimes B depending on what game it is and uh, then you got this like this so yeah and then you got your game select. Like you can select many uh, of them, especially like in combat, the video game. You would have to select many times in which mo uh, mode you want. And this is your game reset. Like you can press reset. And the boy, I did that many a times yesterday on that other Atari of mine. But this one does work. But um, it don't have no problems with it. Except it's a little dusty. I got to clean it up. But I love the way of like... I love the way this looks. My first Atari 2600 uh, system was a junior model. Then that tore up, had to uh, get rid of it for parts. And uh, then I also got, oh wow, it's getting sunny out there. Anyway, it's also, um, my second Atari 2600 I got a few years ago, which I showed that in my video, it was the Black Vader model. So now this is my third total on Atari 2600 console, but it's my second one I have in my collection currently. And I will be keeping this for a very long time because I love the wood grain right here. And then you, you also got your Atari logo right here. Now on the back, you got your uh, cable wire right here, which you could connect to the TV. Then you got your controller ports right here. Hold on, right here. And right here. 
and then you got your uh, adapter where you can stick the adapter in there but either way uh, for 65 bucks for this and the Atari and then the other Atari stuff they all work so I'm very happy and pleased about that so yep this is the Atari 2600 put that there then I got something very interesting guys I got this in one of the uh, center, uh, I got this with the Atari Game Center, which I'm about to show that, what it looks like after I finish showing off all of this stuff. Excuse me. And uh, I got an Atari catalog with 45 game program cartridges. And it's a, like a manual, but it's a catalog. And it shows like a few pages, like multiple pages of stuff like this. It's really fun, no doubt about that, to look at. That came in with the Atari Game Center. Then I got a Donkey Kong cartridge instruction manual. So I'm happy about that. Then I got a Pac-Man instruction manual right here. And then I got a comic book on the Atari 2600. I mean Atari Force. It's called uh, DC Published It, obviously, because it says DC right there. It says DC Atari... Well, it says Atari Force... And then it shows two on there. I looked it up as issue number two. And I'm very happy and thankful to get this one. So yeah. Then we got another catalog about Atari. <laughs> so I'm happy about this, y'all. I, I just can't believe I got all of this. Coleco video game cartridge for Atari, VCS, and television. Sears video arcade and Super Sears Super Video Arcade. And it shows this. And then in this, you would have like games that they would show you, like Donkey Kong, Mousetrap, Ladybug, Carnival, and Zaxxon. So I think that's very damn cool, in my opinion. And then on the back, you got Venture, Turbo, Cosmic, uh, Avenger, and Smurf. Like this. So I think that's very awesome. It's part of, it's a piece of video game history, in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion. So that's why I got this with it. And I also got another Atari catalog yet again. <laughs> this is my third one and the final one in my collection of the Atari catalogs. Then we got Combat, Combat Instruction Manual. I do not have this game yet, but I know it's super common and easy to find. So I'll be getting that game pretty soon, eventually, in my collection. Circus Atari, y'all seen the game earlier, and this is the game instruction manual. And one of my favorite things I found, I also have this game. I already have it a while back. Got it a while back. It's called Berserk, and this actually tells you the story of the game. So I think that is very awesome. You have like this. It tells you about the gameplay, and then you got uh, screenshots of it the game what it looks like the game variations right here and then you got your scoring right here scoring right here it's like it says score table robots are 50 points each all robots in a maze 10 bonus points each so that's cool and you even have evil auto right there if you can really see very closely right there is Evil Otto, the main villain in the Atari 2600 game of uh, Berserk. And then you got your strategy and helpful hints, like tips and stuff they give you for this game. And then you got your game select matrix. And I love this too. And so it's, oh my god, I love this. Anyway, this manual uh, came from 1982 Atari Corporation. So I'm very happy and thankful I got all of this. I love it so much. Oh. And then the interesting thing I found, I've never seen one of these in person. It's called the Atari Game Program Case. It says, bookshelf storage case for the Atari Game Program cartridges. Does not include game program of cartridges. It holds eight game program cartridges. Contains two pockets for game instruction manuals. Contains 48 pressure sensitive game labels. Seat back for instructions. Durable long lasting construction. 
and then uh, it's factory sealed and uh, it says that came more for a dollar which obviously I did pay more than a dollar for all of this stuff but uh, well worth it and it's factory sealed but I'm debating if I want to open it or not because it has like you can stick your finger in like this part and it'd be open and uh, then you got like in the back it shows Atari logo and other things what it says in there like here's the Atari logo right there and then you got this on here I won't be adding this to Bitview by the way because this is over 15 minutes long but um I will be adding this to the other sites so yeah so you got this you know what I'm gonna open it and show y'all what it looks like open it up right now because this is gonna be for fun you know because I'm not reselling any of this so I'm just gonna be keeping it open it up actually you would have to take this off probably or keep it on there I don't know or rip it off I don't know but I don't want to rip it off if I could help it what's this huh okay well we're gonna try to get it open one day I hope I could keep this without ripping it off. I'm going to do it very slowly. I apologize for the video being so long, guys. Wow, we got it off. We did. We did. Yes. Okay, it says Atari, a Warner Communica... I mean, War Atari, a Warner Communications Company. Right there. I love it. Oh, my God, do I love it. Then you got some light like, right here for like a folder. Okay, now I see what they're talking about with the manual. Let's open this bad boy up. Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> see, it actually shows what it what it could hold. Up to eight video game cartridges. So for example, if I get my Atari cartridge out of uh, Circus Atari, stick it in one of these slots, it will fit in there. So let's see if I can do that without damaging it. <laughs> there we go. Hey, it looks good in there. Hey, don't have to worry about it falling out or anything. That's good. Well, if any of you have ever seen one of these, pick it up. It's pretty good. <laughs> but if you find a factory sealed, I recommend y'all keeping it sealed. Unless y'all go to be planning on using it, of course. So yeah, and the phone's ringing. Better, better pick it up and hang it up. There we go. I hate when those spam callers call. It's stupid. Now I show. I have shown everything except this one item, and this is the final item. Ugh. It's this big bad boy right here, and it says Atari Video Game Center right there. How cool is this, guys? It came with the system, controllers, paddles, and it came with that Circus Atari game and everything for $65. And the manuals and that uh, uh, album thing was like 15, I mean, 15 to 20, so it was like 75, 20, 80 dollars. I mean, 75 to 80 dollars. So I opened this up, couldn't believe what I saw in it. It was the Atari 2600 console in there. And plus, I also seen something pretty cool, too. And you can probably just hear me talking in this like this. Uh. <laughs> but this is like your cartridge slot holder in, inside. I got to clean it up and stuff before I actually use it. But look how it looks in here, guys. I just hope it don't fall. But it looks like this. So I'm so happy for everything I got today. Since Atari Game Center, I looked it up online. One uh, had it currently up for a hundred something dollars, and then other different prices. So I really don't know how much this is worth. But I will say this: I have never seen nothing like this before at Atari Game Center. So if y'all have it in y'all's gaming collection, let me know in the comments down below. Or if y'all want, uh, just keep just keep it because I'm telling you, these it's gonna go up eventually. The way I the way I predicted. 
And uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. This video has been going on long enough. It's been over 20 minutes. <laughs> One of my longest videos in a while. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And I hope all of you guys have a nice and wonderful Monday. And if you like this video, feel free to comment, like, or rate this video five stars. And subscribe to my channel to see more videos on here. And this is the Video Gamer 64 signing off. Signing off.